Hey yo everybody, Haku here with my live reaction and review for One Piece Manga Chapter 876. Now of course first thing we'll do is read through the chapter for my first time, and then after that we'll go through again and uh, discuss it a little bit. So uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, let's get into reading this. I guess no real, no real predictions, everything's going pretty straightforward. Pudding just showed up, uh, Nami shocked Big Mom and her crew, but Big Mom's likely perfectly fine because it's Big Mom, a Yonko and all. And um, <clears throat> I will be very, very interested if we do get um, Brook and Chopper versus Pedo Spedo and uh, possibly Katakuri. I think that uh, that'll be pretty good, actually, if we get that. I'll be pretty excited for that. So uh, it's called 876, Pudding Coincidentally Appears. And it looks like we're not sticking with um not sticking with Bartolomeo any longer. Dropping in on the lives of the Grand Straw Hat Pirate Fleet, Volume Eleven, Cyark, Don Sai of the Hapo Navy returning home. This is interesting though, because we know that the Hapo Navy and what is it, Kanokuni? Um, they're supposed to be going to the Reverie, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with Sai in the Reverie here. Or if he's going to have to directly leave to go to that, or if people from his island already left without him. But either way, moving along. Getting through all this fan art. Okay. Nami X Zeus, an unprecedented attack. Whoa, that's some crazy firepower. I'd never be able to make that much lightning with just the clean attack, says uh, Nami. They might, er, that blast. They might have all been completely destroyed, No. Where's Big Mom? She should have taken a direct hit from that bolt. Probably at the bottom of that huge hole. Man, I'm so happy to see Nami do something so useful. Then, uh, we hear stuff. Mama's footsteps. Impossible. There's no... It's Jinbei. Wedding cake. Don't tell me that's her voice. Is she going to climb up here? Hmm. Is the hole do too deep for her to climb up? No. She's moving all right. During one of her eating fits, nothing can stop Big Mom. Alright. Wedding. Cake. She just busts out of the ground. Eh. Wed. Ding. No way. She's going to tear through the earth itself. Cake. Bring it now. Wah. Run. That's actually a really cool panel. The, the bottom half with the straw hats, not the top half with Big Mom is just... Uh... Don't like Big Mom. You have it, don't you, you fools. You straw hats. Straw hat pirates. Huh? Pudding. Chiffon. Ah, Pudding. The hell was all that? You tried to trick us. I told you. We should have just tied her up when we had the chance. <laughs> Pedro, way back in Chocolate Town, could have saved them all from this. Uh... What, wanna go? says Luffy. No, I don't want to go. Hear me out, dang it. <gasps> My dear Pudding, you're safe. I'm, gl I'm so glad your beautiful face is unhurt. Pudding, keep it together, says <laughs> Chiffon, and Pudding is just frothing at the mouth. Big Mom's about to break through the surface. Mama, we don't have much time. Get to the point, Pudding. Hmm. You bastards, you miserable louts. I, I'd never save you in a million years, she says laughing. Even if you make it to your ship, it will be useless. Mama will chase you lot to the ends of the earth, and she'll send you to the ocean floor. <laughs> what the? What was that, says Luffy. No, what are you saying? No, no, what am I saying? Uh, Mama got it in her head that you guys, or er, Mama's got it in her head that you guys stole her beloved cake. She'll chase you across the oceans. Huh? That's right, that's why. Sanji, come here this instant, says Pudding. Watch as your friends are killed by Big Mom. Taste living hell, ha 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 ha. No, what are you saying? No, I just want to vanish. You're o if you're only here to yell stuff like that, piss off, says Luffy. Wait, wait, no, that's not why we're here. Black like Sanji, Pudding said that you too were quite good at pastry making. Okay. Yeah, when it comes to cooking, I can do basically anything. Okay, then help us make this cake. The only thing that can stop Mama is the right kind of cake. Make it and she'll let you go free. All I can think of during this is that one thing, <laughs> that one um, image from the hot Q&A where it was, um, it's a piece of cake to make a pretty cake, but with um, 
with Sanji putting in Big Mom's face is posted over it. Um, Chiffon, for what you did, for what you did for Lola, I'd lay my life on the line for you all. Hm. Well, that may be the case. That's not why I'm here. Nah, I'm not here for you lot. A cake that I coincidentally wanted to make ended up being the sort that Mama wants, and I co coincidentally happen to be passing through here, and you guys happen to be here too. So it's not like I don't want you to die or anything, and I didn't come to help you stop Big Mom or anything, Sanji. So she's <laughs> like twisting back and forth between Yandere and Sundere. My dear, her emotions are flip-flopping like crazy, they think. Got it. Thanks. Where are we going to make this thing? The ingredients are in Chocolatown. We'll make it as fast as we can and then bring it over here by ship. Okay. That should be enough to bring Mama back to her senses. Until then, just try and avoid her. If we go out to sea, we'll just be exposing ourselves to enemies from head on, too. I believe in you all. You'll be able to make it through this. Okay. I'll get up there with you all, then, says Sanji. Well, well, wait just a second. Who said you could get up here, you idiot? Also, I feel like the um, Big Mom crew should probably start helping them out since Big Mom rampaging isn't good for them either. If she doesn't get this wedding cake, they're screwed. So they kind of need the Straw Hats to be alive to be able to uh, keep Big Mom's attention. Either way, moving along. Pudding, chiffon, shit, here it comes again, dodge it. Why the hell are you with them? Luffy, we'll meet back up at sea, counting on it. Mighty nation. Okay. Then whoosh whoosh, Sanji jumps up onto the carpet. And they're out of there. I hope they're okay, says uh, Chiffon. Wait, their path is, uh, is a bit off. Rabian, go back down one more time where we just were. We'll go straight out back to sea. Roger. Okay. Move it along. If the next page would load. It'd be very much a good thing. Come on, Manga Stream. What are you doing? Okay, next page, next page finally loaded. Next page finally loaded. Okay. Uh, Luffy, everyone, you're going the wrong way. What? Pudding? It's the good pudding. <laughs> the coast is this way. We tried to go straight, but... Kikiki. Memories. Fill. Hmm? Flashback. So I think maybe she just changed the memories of the, um... Uh... Of the forest homies? Which... Um... If she did, weird, huh? I've got a good. If she can do that at a distance like that, that's really, really OP, huh? I've got to go shopping. My brother just punched me. Got to walk the dog. My son's gone missing. The memories of the person who once possessed the soul inside those trees will come rushing back to them, but only for a short while. While they're confused, Mama can't control them. Now they should be able to make it out of the forest. I see. Thanks, pudding. Yeah, why are you up here, Sanji? Um, well, you just... My dear. <laughs> get, get off and swim, idiot. That eye looks pretty, even when you're angry. S stop making fun of me, dummy. I'll I'll end you, okay? Huh? And Sanji looks over. Brooke, Chopper. Wait, isn't that your ship? Yeah, it's been damaged. Looks like they got to it before you guys. Oh no, my brothers are there. Aw, huh? so the Sunny's damaged already. Strong. Against the soldiers, aren't we, skeleton? Please, I am the one and only Soul King after all. Ha, there's no end to these guys. They're probably going to keep coming out of the mirrors. And we see just piles of soldiers on the ground beneath Chopper and Brook, And then Katakuri's just sitting there watching them fight all the soldiers. Alright, it's the mirror in Nami's room. She'll probably get mad if we smash it, though. Just smash it if you can. We'll, apo we'll apologize later. Apologize to whom, Perodin? You saw that bolt of lightning earlier, didn't you? No one's coming back. This question and answer game is boring me. I'm tired of playing, says Brooke. Just get off. The sunny is our ship. Hurry, I can see the coast on the other side of the trees. We're saved. Is Pudding really on our side? I can't tell. At any rate, we can't let our guard down till we're out of Big Mom's territory. Okay. I like this. So, I mean, it would be smarter of them, I guess, to just sail around on the sunny and avoid Big Mom that way, since 
I mean, she's a devil fruit eater. She can't really swim, so that would be the best way to avoid her, I assume. Oi, Zeus, what's the big idea? Prometheus. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I couldn't control myself. But seriously, those thundercloud eggs were so yummy. Huh? Wedding cake. They'll be fine, right? We don't have time to turn back, you know. Yeah, you don't need to worry about those guys, says Sanji. We're the ones without a moment to lose. Time to make a cake that'll make Big Mom faint, he says. The pride of these chefs is at stake. You know, they could just poison the cake if they wanted to go with this Big Mom assassination plot. I mean, Chiffon was into it, Sanji was into it. All they got to do is convince Pudding and a uh, piece of cake to bake a poison cake. So, um, yeah. Either way, let's go back through and look at this. I mean, I don't really think there's much need to for this one. Interesting at the beginning that we're um, switching over to Psy now. Like I said, it'll be cool to see what happens with the um, with the with him and the Reverie. So, uh, see how that goes. Uh, then, of course, starting at the beginning, the aftermath of that attack was awesome. Kind of, uh, I still just, I knew Big Mom wouldn't be harmed, but I don't know, just her digging through the ground and stuff, even though it's all perfectly well and good, I just, I find myself, like, eh, whenever Big Mom is on screen. Like, I, I, I find her very hard to care about as a villain. I mean... She isn't a villain as compelling or interesting as Crocodile or Anil or Doflamingo or pretty much any of them. I mean, she's the strongest. She's a Yonko, but even being the strongest, she's kind of one-dimensional and boring. So, I mean, eh. Especially given that her only defining character traits are fat and hungry. Oh, and like, invincible. Like, fat, hungry, and invincible is pretty much her only thing. There is no, like, strategy or brains to it. It's just a big, lumbering creature following you around. I mean, I don't know. It's just very much a, a not very engaging villain when it comes to storytelling. Straw hats are still running. I actually like putting going back and forth between, um, between being angry and evil at them and being good. Uh, I think that makes it a lot more interesting than her just being plain good. So, um, I'm perfectly cool with that. And besides, it's not like... The evil is sort of like Sundere or Yandere type evil. It's like she completely loves Sanji, she just is Sundere towards him. And then Yandere towards everyone else trying to separate her and Sanji. So, um, yeah. That's, I, I think that's better than turning her full good. And, uh, of course, they're going to bake a cake or any and stuff like that. About the same thing. They have to go to Cacao Island. So, of course, Sanji is going with putting in Chiffon and separating from the rest of them. But she goes back first and changes the memory of the forest to give the Straw Hats some time to run towards the ship. And while they're there, they see Brook and Chopper fighting a bunch of soldiers with Katakuri watching on. Uh, Brook says it's time to get serious and all that. So... Hopefully, like I, like I was saying, Brook and Chopper versus uh, Pedro, Spedo, and Katakuri would be pretty interesting. Do I expect them to win? Maybe not, but um, I think it'd be fun to see. Okay, then I, I like actually seeing Prometheus yell at Zeus, like, what were you doing here, Zeus? Um, glad we actually got to see that. And then, of course, at the end, Sanji looking very, very devious with this cake, and I am thinking that... You know, poison, they always say it's the coward's way to kill somebody, but I would not be upset if Sanji poisoned Big Mom is all I'm saying. That would complete their assassination plot, and it would all work out. And it would give Sanji something great to do this arc. Sanji's been, everybody says Sanji's been catching L's all arc. The biggest W he could get is killing Big Mom via poison, and being the first straw hat to kill a Yonko, I guess. Um, even though killing isn't something that they do a whole lot. Um, but either way, I guess that would be it. So, uh, like if you did like the video and comment down there to tell me what you thought of this week's chapter, what you thought of my thoughts and my reaction to it. Uh, subscribe for more One Piece by the Anime and Manga and much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. That is it. So, thank you once again for watching. Oh, if you want to link to our Discord. If you want to link to our Discord, just ask and I'll give you one. Okay, so that's it. 
Uh, yeah, thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.